Emma Bussey's voice definitely stands out from a crowd. I don't want to be here if I can't be with you. The 20-year-old Canadian is now in the top 24 of American Idol after blowing away judges again and again, but it hasn't always been an easy road. That slow oh, 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 vibrato oh, 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 has to go. go oh, 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 oh. Now she has her sights set on winning it all in Hollywood. I'm about to lose my. Emma is from BC, but is joining us tonight from LA as taping for the show continues. Welcome, Emma, and congrats on making it into the top 24. What has this whole experience been like for you so far? First off, thank you so much. <laughs> um, second off, it's been insane. I honestly didn't think I would get to this point <laughs> at all. Um, I'm so grateful for it though, all of it. It's been amazing. It's also been such a learning curve for me. Um, I've just never experienced even just being on live TV or cameras or anything like that before. So it's been a lot, but it's been amazing at the same time. Yeah, a lot so. happening really quickly. Uh, I know I feel the sense of pride. You're from BC, from Burnaby, and the other Canadian still running is Tyson Venegas, also from BC. You're sort of the Team Canada on American Idol. Uh, fans can't actually vote outside of the US, but do you feel like your country is rooting for you? Oh, I totally do. Yeah, I totally do. Um, I've been getting an overwhelming amount of support from Vancouver and yeah, Burnaby, all the greater kind of areas that I wasn't really expecting. Um, <laughs> It was super, super, super kind. Um, yeah, I, I've, it, it was overwhelming, but in a good way, you know, like I just so grateful for all the, the hometown support. Um, yeah. <laughs> now, Emma, you won a gold ticket to get where you are now, Hollywood, but your audition was a little bit tense with Katy Perry. She asked you to actually change your approach. I want to take a look at that now. Smack it out of you! Smack it out of you! Get all that Broadway out of you! <laughs> you can be saved from the thespians. <laughs> okay, so I think you sound amazing. But when Katie said that to you, did you feel like it was all over? <laughs> um, I, you know what? In the moment, I didn't know what was going to happen, honestly, because I just was reveling of the fact of seeing like Katy Perry, Lionel Richie, and like Luke Bryan in front of me. So I was kind of just like floating through the whole experience. It kind of all hit me after I got out of the room, but I think honestly, I didn't have a lot of expectations going into it. Like I didn't really know if I was gonna get a golden ticket or not. I kind of, was just like, you know what, I'm gonna sing and see what happens. But I was super um, grateful for kind of their expertise and kind of just guiding me through, um, you know, what they thought about my voice and, and the kind of theatrical aspects that, you know, my performance and that my voice brought to it and how to kind of tweak it. But they actually had you redo it and you were able to change what they wanted you to change. How were you able to do that so quickly? And how have you been learning along the way to do all these different genres? Yeah, well, actually, something that my theater training taught me was to kind of quickly change into different stylistic uh, kind of genres of of music and also specifically for your voice. Like, because I had to do a lot of um, opera singing. I had to do a lot of, uh, you know, jazz standard type singing. Um, so I kind of, I was used to being told to change 
you know, stylistically your voice for different uh, types of singing. And so when they told me to do that, I kind of went into autopilot a bit and I was like, okay, you know what? This is what my instructors have told me in school. So I'm just gonna, you know what? Try to change it on the dime. And I tried to do the best that I could. And yeah, so. You got a ticket, so it worked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then, yeah. During one of your performances, Katy Perry called it top 10 material while you were singing. So the pressure to win, the ups and the downs, it's gotta be a lot. With the other Canadian competitor, Tyson, do you lean on each other for support or is it all competition? Oh, totally lean on each other for support. Yeah, I, I've i made so many friends. All of them, all the contestants that I've met throughout this entire journey, I've become friends with. It really doesn't feel like a competition. You know what I mean? I know at the end of the day, it technically is, but like it doesn't feel like that when you're in it. And yeah, specifically with Tyson, we really like bonded over the fact that we, I'm pretty sure live like a cup, 20 minutes away from each other or something like that. And we had no idea, like, yeah. Yeah, which might be surprising to some people, but I know Tyson has said that it's been hard to watch some of your friends uh, get kicked off, even though you are moving forward. So nice to see that you're all, uh, you're all, you have, have each other's backs. Um, you know, American Idol first premiered more than 20 years ago. You were not even born yet. What has it been like being on a show that you maybe grew up watching? Oh, totally, totally grew up watching it. It's so surreal. I, I honestly, I have vivid memories of me watching it with my family and, and seeing the exact same judges, you know, doing the exact same things that I ended up doing. And I did like fantasize when I was younger, like picturing myself up there and seeing like, oh, would I get a golden ticket, blah, blah, blah you know? And it is really surreal to have it happen. Um, but yeah, so it's kind of like a full circle moment. And I feel like that's similar to a lot of contestants uh, who grew up watching the show, you know? But yeah. For sure, a lot of emotions. Well, we're super excited for you. Can't wait to watch what happens. So good luck and uh, go Team Canada. Yes, go Team Canada. Thank you so much. <laughs> Now, I actually spoke to Emma earlier today, and since then we've learned that she didn't make it into the top 20, but still a big accomplishment, and good luck to Tyson.